space trading and combat sims. These cosmic games have a long history. Some are decades old and still going strong. Today I'm bringing you to New Space with 2024 games where you captain spaceships, but will you want to be in charge of any of them? Let's find out. Taking the helm in Capital Command. Here you command a state-of-the-art warship as you fight epic space battles in a sandbox campaign. You control this ship and you can upgrade and customize it as you master the art of maneuvering. And you have to blend your use of tactical prowess and heavy firepower to overcome deadly threats. The story here is that the AI in charge of local defense has gone rogue. You know, Dune was right. Computers just get a bit too finicky in the future. Anyway, your crew follows your every command and you give orders to navigators, gunners, repair teams, engineers, and you direct a large, cumbersome ship equipped with an expansive arsenal to engage in realistic space combat. Realism is a big point here, ships are supposed to move realistically, and you can automate navigation or you can control things manually, your thrust vectors, and dealing with inertia in the vacuum of space. That space having six degrees of freedom, and your enemies will be hundreds of kilometers away, so, you know, space is big. Your ship will have tools at its disposal. There's solid projectile artillery, missile pods, point defense turrets, there's damage control teams that work constantly to repair the ship. So this is sort of like a 3D FTL kind of thing. A little bit more complicated, I think. Or you can even commandeer enemy ships entirely, adapting to its loadouts and capabilities. The campaign is procedurally generated. It's generally quite impressive looking. If this is the kind of focus in a space game you're looking for, this seems to be promising all the vectors that you'll be wanting. It's planning for a 2024 release window right now, so we'll see when Capital Command will release sometime later this year. And now for today's sponsor, Prosperous Universe. Click the link below to have a closer look. This game is about running a galactic empire and trade. You build a base and run your business on a real-time market where you're exchanging with other players in a universe about economics and politics with a focus on realism. You'll be building, producing, trading, shipping, and governing. I know there's a lot of space game fans out there who love to dig deep into the complexities and intricacies of detailed economic simulations, and this one goes there. Also, this doesn't have PvP combat, so it's quite different from some of the other space games on this list. And I think there's a lot of people who just want to focus on the trading part of these games. If that's you, then here you go. Important note is that there's a few ways to play this game, and you're meant to start with the free version. That allows you to test and explore the game to see if you're really gonna get into and stick with it. If you do like it, then for the mid and late game you can consider the subscription. This has been in early access on Steam for a couple years, with mostly positive reviews, so people are liking it so far, and it's been getting updates. If you're interested in captaining a more economic space sim, then remember to click the link below to check out Prosperous Universe. For a more resource-focused game, Star Miner. Here you design and build an interstellar mining fleet to strip space of its valuable minerals, and you sell them for a profit. But you have to be careful, your greed will attract aliens, and you have to use warships and defense platforms to protect your fleet at all cost, in real space, in real time. So the main focus here is mining. You are basically just exploiting space for everything it's got. You'll be forging interstellar behemoths, because you have to balance material requirements with power, tonnage, and size while building your fleet for maximum efficiency piece by piece, module by module. So you do get to choose whether you build a large number of smaller, more nimble vessels, or you can just create a mega monolith of a spaceship to float through space and strip it for what it's worth. 
You do have to fuel your expansion though. You'll be harvesting and processing valuable materials from asteroids and you have to be careful of your profit margins because that's what this one comes down to, the economics. And over time you'll be scaling your mining operations, starting small and then getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But of course, as you attract more attention, the alien can show up and it will detect you and you have to defend your fleet otherwise you just get destroyed. So this one seems to be slightly akin to sort of factory automation games, but it's not a factory, it's a spaceship, and that's sort of the vibe it's going for. And it is planning to release into early access sometime in 2024, with up to a year in development in early access. So it's looking for an early access release this year, and then probably full release next year if they stick to schedule, but we'll see if Star Miner goes quick or goes slow. Now for one that's going quick, Remnant Protocol. The assassination of the Blessed Mother has plunged the galaxy into darkness. So at first glance you can tell this one is more of a individual flight combat space sim where you are flying around and shooting things at a much faster pace than some of the more economic simulations on this list. You'll be raiding outposts, making alliances, manufacturing more ships, researching new technologies, and leading your wingmates in battle. So although the big focus is the small ship-to-ship -ship combat, you do have this sort of home base, or the large mothership, I guess, that you're building up over time. All set on this galactic-scale rebellion setting. Things to expect here are intense dogfighting action, you are being hunted so the enemy is actively searching for your secret base, and you are playing in a living, breathing galaxy with many factions that are maneuvering to secure their positions, as every campaign is also unique because it's procedurally generated missions with dynamic narrative elements. So as you make choices and as you do actions, they have knock-on effects which change the galaxy as you play through it. I mean, it does look very cool based on what we've seen so far visually and conceptually. Gameplay seems fast-paced and exciting. Now, having said that, the game was apparently supposed to release in 2023, but the developers secured a publishing deal and they're scaling up the game a little bit. So this is supposed to be better than initially envisioned and it's now got a release window of 2024. So we're going to have to see whether the new scope of Remnant Protocol is gonna really over deliver from the original promise or whether things get a little bit messy but hopefully they can stick to their new schedule and we'll see whether Remnant Protocol actually makes it in 2024. Hey, now that you're a bit into the list I'm sure you're enjoying it so it'd be greatly appreciated if you can like the video. Thank you. All right, next game. Stellar Wanderer DX. Here we have an old-school space combat sim set in a vast open-world universe. You can follow the story or choose your favorite side missions as a mercenary fighter pilot. There's a lot of space sim combat games, particularly when it's this dogfighting kind of style, where you just fly around space shooting other spaceships, and there'll be little bits of trade and improvements and upgrading of your ship and all of that kind of stuff. In this one, you'll be exploring a galaxy using a variety of ships. You can upgrade your ships and weapons, you can trade resources, and you'll be fighting outlaws. The space you'll be exploring will be between safe, high security systems, or you could end up in border worlds, or even some of the pirate systems where you'll have to watch your back. Visually, the game looks great, very colorful. It's got that colorful sci-fi approach to how space looks, which I know is not particularly realistic, but it's nice to look at. But if you're a stickler for realism, then obviously space is not quite this colorful. But if you're not sure whether you will like this or not, good news is there is a free demo for Stellar Wanderer DX right now on Steam. It is planning for a release in 2024, but you can just have a look at it now if you're curious. For something a little bit different on this list, Breachway. Now, this is a rogue-like deck builder sort of card game which is set in space and you'll be exploring the galaxy in a sci-fi roguelike. You can upgrade your ships and crew management is key to survival. You can optimize resource generation, engage in intense turn-based battles, and there are ever-growing threats as you seek out 
The Signal. This sort of feels like, at first vibe, a kind of FTL, but it's 3D and there's a card system. So I think people looking for space games and space captaining games will be interested in this one. Combat is tactical and you will be using these cards, so there's a certain amount of RNG whenever there's a card system, which can be interesting if it's balanced and fair and just generally it needs to be made fun. But I do know there's a lot of people who just hate card systems, so this is what Breachway is. It is planning to fully release in July 2024, so we will get a full version soon. And if anything, this is something different in the spacey, captainy genre. So you can have a look at Breachway, but if you're really against cards, we can move on to the next game. Under Space. Saying that it's a spiritual successor to Freelancer, with a Lovecraftian sandbox RPG twist. This one has some interesting points. You'll be exploring a handmade universe with day one mod support, and they will be planning PvP and co-op multiplayer later on in Early Access. This game has released into Early Access, so it's sort of playable now and it's going through development still. But it's sort of that individual, smaller, dogfighting, spaceship combat sim. But the Lovecraftian element of just fantastical, weird, nightmarish creatures that reside in space is just something that sort of makes it feel a bit more mystical with slight horror elements. But I don't know, it's, it's interesting, it's weird. Giant scary eyes looking at you from the depths of space, it's always scary. There's supposed to be 16 main campaign missions, dozens of side quests, 36 bosses, 114 star systems, there's no fast travel, so you will be traveling through space. Many locations, hundreds of pieces of equipment, plenty of enemy types, and it's estimated to be between 12 to 15 hours to beat just the main quest. 300 hours if you're going for a more completionist approach, so it's nice that they have outlined how much game there is to Underspace. At the start of Early Access, as at the time of making this video it only just entered Early Access, it's received a good 100 user reviews on Steam at 82% positive, so it's looking like it's getting a good start, but there is so much more that needs to be added. PvP and co-op multiplayer both would be a nice addition to a game like this. Underspace, going well so far, we'll see how it goes over the next year as it's planning to fully release within a year, so if they stick to their schedule, 2025 latest for the full release. Now if you're a space fan and also coincidentally a fan of trucking sims, well, good news! Star Trucker. This is a game where you have a spaceship that's essentially a cargo truck. You haul cargo, you trade salvage, and you keep your spacesuit close as you search for fame and fortune among the stars. It's an interstellar twist on the truck sim genre. Obviously this is not quite a realistic space sim, but also it kind of is a realistic space sim. I mean, your spaceship having straight up a truck front of the vehicle, I mean, it's a bit weird, but also, I mean, if you like the trucking sims, then this is just going to be a twist that you're going to want to have a look at at least. You'll be cruising the hyper highways, taking on a variety of jobs such as fueling hungry long hauls and hazardous drop offs to earn cash and unlock new content. There's a radio you can listen to to find out the latest gossip, story beats, and also you can request docking permission and sending out an SOS. And as you earn your fame and fortune, you'll be upgrading and trading bigger and better things. I mean, there's not too much to say. It's a trucking sim set in space. It's an interesting twist and it's planning to release in 2024. So if they really just deliver on space trucking sim, then Star Trucker is gonna just fit that niche just right. But these sort of trucking sims could be amazing or bland. So we'll have to see what the Star Trucker can really apply this twist effectively. For one that's been in early access for a couple years, Nebulous Fleet Command. In this one, you take command of your hand-tailored fleet of space warships and you use realistic radar, electronic warfare, advanced movement controls in 3D space 
and precision targeting to outmaneuver and outwit your opponents in a simulation-heavy tactical space game. Now, this one has been in early access since February 2022, so it's over two years, but it's received a couple thousand user reviews on Steam, and it's above 90% positive, so people are really enjoying this. Having said that, they said that they'll be in early access for up to two years, and we're past that deadline. So if they're anywhere close to sticking to their schedule, it should fully release in 2024. But early access games that have very good user reviews, they don't really have an incentive to release release. So although the schedule is supposed to make Nebulous Fleet Command a 2024 full release game, I mean, they could just go on forever, really. But the main point is that it's a realistic space warfare fleet game with mod support and plenty of detailed realistic simulations, and people are really enjoying it. So you can jump into Nebulous Fleet Command now because it seems like a safe bet. If you're waiting for full release, who knows how long it would take. Moving on, Hunter Net Starfighter. This one has been in development for a while, and it's supposed to be an MMO Starfighter sim where you fight for territory, resources, and key installations during humanity's last civil war. You form player organizations, mine resources, and build fleets to back up your starfighters, or you could take a break and fly in friendly races or engage in war games. But beware, there's an alien foe that threatens everyone. This is supposed to be an MMO kind of multiplayer space dogfighting combat sim thing with some side activities. And it's kind of been in development for a couple years now, and we've seen a good amount of it. The developer does put out a number of videos, lengthy videos showing just raw gameplay, so we pretty much know what HunterNet Starfighter is. You can see plenty of footage. And although it does look interesting, there's no particular release window at the moment. But after two years in development and lots of stuff to see, it's a good chance that it will become playable sometime soon. But of course, that's just a guess. We'll keep an eye on the HunterNet's Starfighter and see where it ends up over the coming year. For a more RTS strategic approach, Fragile Existence. This one is very hyped, people have been looking forward to this one for a long time, and you are supposed to be saving humanity from the brink of extinction in this game of survival. You travel among the stars to seek out resources, you establish and develop colonies to sustain civilization, and you grow your military might to push back against an overwhelming threat. So this one is a little bit more zoomed out, a bit more RTS, but you're still commanding a fleet of starships. You have to scout ahead and plot a course. You have to go from system to system, setting up colonies, collecting resources, building and upgrading as you go. Sending down ground expeditions onto the planets is something that sets this one apart, and you need to shift resources to where they're needed after you pacify the planets, of course, one way or another. But the main objective is to survive. Things are trying to kill you out here in space, and sometimes you have to fight, sometimes you have to run, it's up to you to decide. Besides that, it is also supposed to have full mod support, which is always a good point. Fragile Existence is planning to release sometime in 2024, but we have been waiting for this one for a number of years already. So hopefully they stick to their schedule and do actually release within the next year, but we're gonna have to wait and see whether Fragile Existence does deliver on all of these promises. Now, for something that is a bit more home decorator, but also kinda like Star Trek, but not. It's Starship Simulator. This is a space simulator where you run and design and control a starship. You explore a scientifically accurate Milky Way galaxy and discover distant uncharted worlds while having unrestricted access to every deck of your Magellan-class deep space exploration vessel. You interact with numerous fully simulated ship systems, but if you want to be a bit more of a hands-off captain, you can relax in the bar and just watch the stars drift by. This one is a simulator in the simulator sense of the word, where it's sort of a very realistic 
experience kind of thing. You can design the ship as well with a retro futuristic art style. There's going to be over 200 plus rooms existing to serve a practical purpose. Things work with real hardware simulated with pipes, cables, conduits that exist in real time. Outside of the ship, space is procedurally generated and you will find planets that are capable of supporting life and how you interact with them will be up to you. You'll also be managing a number of crew roles, captain, pilot, science officer, tactical officer, engineer, doctor, and so on. And basically, I think this is a Star Trek game in all but name. Starship Simulator is clearly trying to be Star Trek, even the uniforms look similar, not the same, but similar. And if this is something that you've been wanting to see, because there's been a few Star Trek games in recent years that have had middling successes and some people really love them, Starship Simulator might be an alternative that might bring you what you're actually looking for. Good news, this one also has a free demo that you can try right now on Steam, so you can have a closer look at Starship Simulator and see if this is one that you want to be waiting for. With a slightly more grand strategy approach, but still a space sim, Terra Invicta. This one has also been in early access for approaching two years at this point. Towards the end of 2022 is when it released into early access, and it's received thousands of user reviews on Steam with over 80% positive. So generally, people are liking this one. Now, the interesting thing here is you're sort of set on Earth and the surrounding space, and an alien invasion has fractured humanity into seven ideological factions, each with a unique vision for the future. So depending on what you want to do and how you want to go about it, these factions do compete with their ideas. But it's not just about Earth. You'll be leading your chosen faction to take control of Earth's nations and expand across the solar system and battle enemy fleets in tactical combat. The seven factions are interesting. There's the Resistance that want to form an alliance of nations to defend against the aliens. Humanity First, which wants to eliminate the aliens altogether and anyone who sympathizes with them. There's the Servants who want to submit to the aliens. The Protectorate who just wants to avoid annihilation. The Academy, who wants to learn as much as they can about interstellar stuff. The Initiative, who wants to seek profit from the chaos and destruction. And there's also just Project Exodus, people who just want to leave. Let the aliens have it, we're getting out of here. So how you go about this depends on which faction you lead. Whichever one you go with, you will be expanding across a dynamic solar system in a game where it's supposed to be hard sci-fi meets strategy. And also another good point here is it's another game that's built for mods, so user-generated content will be a thing here. Having said all of that, it sounds great, it's going well, it's been in early access for almost two years at this point. The initial estimate was supposed to be several months, but clearly we're way past that. So Terra Invicta might release fully within the next year, but there's no guarantee for that. And generally it's going well right now, so you can have a look at Terra Invicta if you're curious. Now this next one has sponsored me recently, so I'm just going to stay very short and factual for this. Homeworld 3. This is a sci-fi space RTS from a long-running series, and we have played the demo to see what the War Games was like, which was an initial taste of Homeworld 3. There was a lot of feedback and criticism of the demo, so the game was delayed, currently set for 13th of May 2024. And I think the only thing that you really need to know about Homeworld 3 right now is that they put out a post which went over a number of changes that they are making based on feedback from the demo. So you can have a look at that post, you can see what we've seen from the demo, and come to a conclusion however you like for Homeworld 3. And I'm gonna mention this one because I know you're gonna ask about it. Falling Frontier. This is a sci-fi RTS-ish kind of game where you design ships and raid enemy supply lines and lay minefields and construct recon stations and ambush enemy forces within asteroid fields and nebula. It looks great, it's been promising a lot, and we've been waiting for it for a long, long time. Falling Frontier was supposed to release in 2023, then it was delayed to 2025, but now it just says coming soon on Steam, so I don't know when Falling Frontier will release. 
I'm not really expecting it to release anytime. It's kind of one of those games where you just have to wait until it does actually release. I first listed Falling Frontier, I think four years ago in 2020, and it's still being delayed and not releasing. So I would not hold my breath for Falling Frontier. It might be amazing when it gets here. It might not. We don't really know. They keep showing new footage, more trailers, more updates. It's all nice and good, but until Falling Frontier releases and becomes playable, well, we don't really know what it is. It might release in 2024. It might release in 2025. It might not. Falling Frontier, if you asked about it. And there you have it. Press the like button and get games using the GOG referral link below to support videos like this one. Click the link and buy any game, it really does help. Also, thank you to all the patrons and YouTube members who really support this channel and keeping videos like these being made. Join if you want your name on future videos. If you want to stay in the know for another genre, go to the next list video linked on screen as I'm sure space captains like yourself would not want to miss all the other sci-fi and base-building games in the other list. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.